Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we'll be making this easel card. I just love this card. It looks like it's really complicated, but it goes together fairly quickly. And I think you'll enjoy making these. There's so many variations for the theme. Check out my blog. You'll see some that we made with the bird punch at a workshop. Super, super cute, and I think you'll really like it. So let's get started. Instructions can be found on my blog site at createwithd.typepad.com. And to make this card, take a 8 inch by 4 inch piece of Whisper White cardstock and fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and score it with the or um, burnish it with the bone folder. And I'm taking one of the edges, one of the short edges, and folding it back and on itself on that center crease. So we end up with a, a two inch score line and a four inch score line. And you can see already that that's, hopefully the camera's picking it up, that's the easel base. So I'm going to put that aside for now. And the top card piece that's going to be made with, um, well actually both card bases here. The outer edge is a three and a three and three quarter inch square and the layering piece is a three and a half inch square. So you're going to need two three and three quarter inch square pieces and two three and a half inch square pieces. And so I've got the top layer here and this is from the designer paper package called Cottage Walls. I just so am about this paper pack. I think it's so pretty. Double-sided. It's hard to figure out which of your designs that you're, you might want to choose for it. It's a really, really cute designer paper series. It comes in 12 by 12. So I'm going to just go ahead and start making the layers on the top. So again, this is two-sided on that so you know the colors are going to really match well or made to match well. Layer that piece. I've already punched one of the butterflies out using the butterfly punch. As you can tell I will use every little scrap piece to the bitter end. <laughs> Take our mat pack here, my paper piercer, and on our butterflies I'm going to just make a pierce in the middle of both of them and get ready to put a brad in between. So just open up that brad and try to position it then so that it, um, the little wings of the brad cover that area. Get the second one done. That mat pack really comes in handy with, with being able to quickly pierce something and not poke your fingers or especially if you want to hang on to a couple of pieces while you lay, layer it. Okay, so I'm going to put our little butterfly friends on our card top. That using Stampin' Up's dimensionals. Okay, so that's the top piece of the card. Set that to the side. And isn't this going together so very quickly? So I'll take a coordinating piece of the same designer paper series. And I've got this, I like the stripe one. Thought it was a nice contrast to it. Another um, piece of material from the from the cottage walls, and this is cut at three and a half too, because I want it to be um, right here. For the easel card, I'm putting um, the stopper in the middle right now, but depending on how much of the angle that you want the card to be, you can put it way up high and have your strip here to stop it, or if you wanted it to come down more at an angle, put it a little lower. Um, for this demonstration, I'm just doing it approximately right in the middle. Whoops. 
didn't have that lined up just as straight as what it could right now. Taking a piece of one quarter inch old olive gross grain ribbon, cut it three and a half. And again, I'm going to put that in the middle. Cut that one just a tad bit long. Take my scissors and get that trimmed. And taking these, the trio blossom punch, and I've got three flowers punched out of it. And again, it's just from some of the scrap from the the paper that we use for the butterfly. I always like to try to reintroduce a pattern or a color in both the top and the bottom. That's just me. Other people can see other color combinations. And for our easel card, it's having something that's raised off of the surface that um, again acts for the stopper for the top part of the card as we'll see here in a moment. Alrighty, just a couple more things on here and we are going to use um, a stamp from Teeny Tiny Wishes. I'm telling you what, this is one of my new favorite stamp sets. It has everything. It's it's just really been my go-to set for um, a really long time now. And there it is. Got my scrap white and again using the old olive. Get that pounced up in here. And this old olive is for the Stampin' Spots um, kit, the little one. Has, I think, 12 different stamp ink colors in it from a whole family of ink colors. I can tell, um, I wasn't sure what ones I would gravitate towards, and this old olive is definitely one that I'm going to get the larger pad for, for when this one runs out. So I got my friend to friend stamp. Get that punched out. That was using the word window that's made to go with the teeny tiny wishes. Have a scrap of old olive cardstock using the modern label. Get that punched out. And if you've seen my videos you in cards, you know that I love this combo here of the word window and the modern label punch. Get our little saying on there, friend to friend. I chose friend to friend because there's two little butterflies that we have on the top of it. And I'm like, well, they're friends and they're wanting to, you know, it's a friend to friend. Okay, so we have our two pieces and we're ready to go on our easel card. I'm going to have this facing me so that I can make sure I do it correctly. I'm going to, I like starting with the bottom square piece. Something clicks better in my mind when I do that. So, so again, on from the folded 4x4 four four that we had when our first fold there, on the inside of it, we're going to put our base, or the bottom part of it. And on the easel card, what you, we want to make sure is that this top part of our of the card that stands up does not have adhesive on it and so the trick that I have is to you know instead of trying to guess here on the back of um, the top piece where to put the adhesive I just flip the card base over and come in here with my snail adhesive and you don't want to go all the way to the border because this is cut slightly below so it's going to stand up like that. So I'm going to put my top piece on just the bottom half here. Let's make sure I got it pressed on there really good. And that's our easel card. You may have to close it one time first and open it back up to get it to prop it that doesn't stand just so for you. But that's the easel card. Have fun playing with different designs, and like I said, check out my blog site, createwithd.typepad.com, to see some more ideas on how you can do it. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye-bye.